Hey, I'm making a cocktail. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, I had a challenge to make a cocktail with a banana simple syrup, and by George, we made a really, really good one. Like a really, really good one. The other night when I was at Water Trade, which is my local favorite bar, Whitney was talking about all the rage right now among all the bartender forums is this banana liqueur that's really hard to find and kind of expensive. And I thought to myself, why spend all that money? I'll just make my own banana syrup and make my own thing. It's real banana, there's no artificial flavors, and it tastes amazing. Not gonna lie, maybe my best simple syrup yet. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's not hard to make, but do be careful with it. All you have to do is throw some butter in a pan, you'll slice up your bananas, coat them in brown sugar, and throw them in there. You're gonna get a little bit of a caramelization on there, and that's really important. Normally when I make a simple, I use equal parts water to sugar. Since I had the brown sugar on the bananas, and bananas are already sweet, I only used half as much sugar as I normally would. I did let this sit overnight, so it sat there a long time to really infuse that banana flavor in there, but boy is it worth it. It honestly took us a little while to figure out exactly what spirit to use with this. We tried a lot of different base spirits until we finally settled on rye, and the rye we use with this banana syrup, holy cow y'all, freaking ridiculous. Let's dive in and do the thing. First thing we're using, this is the stuff. This is the Templeton Rye. This was given to me by a good friend of mine, Jordan, over the holidays, and wow, this is a great, great rye. Gonna put an ounce and a half of this Templeton Rye in here. Shabam. Now I'm gonna throw in this banana simple syrup. I do wanna make sure that you do keep this refrigerated because in making this, it's not high in sugar content. I did put a little vodka in there to really help preserve it, but because it's not as sugary sweet, it's not gonna stay as long. This needs to be made and used pretty quickly. Doing one ounce of that banana simple syrup. This next ingredient was a little bit of a surprise for us. We wanted something to brighten it up and really kind of give it a little more depth. And we settled on Aperol, which is a grapefruit Amaro. It works really well, and I was honestly a little surprised, but man, it, it really does work well with this. Doing half an ounce of Aperol. Don't want to go too heavy with this. I need to pour down here so that people can see things. Learn your lessons, Mark. One half ounce of Aperol. Ooh, it looks pretty. We're gonna tie all this together by throwing some Angostura bitters in there. Doesn't take, I hate these things. They, I really need some dash, I need some dash bottles. About three dashes. Put nice in there and we're gonna stir this bad boy up until we get it nice and chilly and frosty. When we were making this cocktail, even when we thought we had it, there was still something just missing. Something that was a little off that we couldn't quite figure out. Kelly was our guest for that stream and she kept talking about cinnamon. I kind of blew it off. I was like, I don't know about cinnamon. Cinnamon doesn't seem right. Well, we finally put cinnamon in this thing and holy crap, it worked really well. The lesson I've learned is always listen to Kelly. Okay, we got that nice and chilled. It's a lovely chili drink. Shabam, here we go. Look at how pretty that is, y'all. That's so pretty. Damn. And again, the last most important ingredient, cinnamon. Just a couple of dashes on there. All right, here we go. Oh, it smells really good. Oh man, that is, that is smooth, y'all. That is, Silky smooth, goes down easy. Wow. That I, I don't I don't even know what to say right now. I, I don't even know what to say right now. Craig thinks this is almost a dessert drink, and I'll almost give him that. If you use this as an egg white drink, shake it up, get it nice and egg whitey, put that in there. This is a dessert drink, like nobody's business. That's stupid. Dude. The name for this was really tough. We were throwing around a lot of stuff with bananas and Gwen Stefani and even regional dialects. I think it had to do with the discussion about caramel and caramel as to how you pronounce it. Somehow we ended up in Pittsburgh and apparently they say yens in Pittsburgh and we were talking a lot about yens. There's bananas and cinnamon. This drink is the banana cinnamons. Works for me. Who cares, it tastes good. I don't care what it's called, it tastes amazing. 
You should definitely make yourself some banana syrup and try this drink. And if you like this recipe and you wanna see more of them, click over there and see more recipes that we come up from scratch or even some classics. You should also show up the first Thursday of every month for This Doesn't Suck Test Kitchen where we live stream us coming up with these recipes. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell so you get notifications, and we will see you next time.